Hello Taurus, it's Michelle. Hello Taurus, it's Richard. And we're here to give you your He Said, She Said reading. This is for the time period of September 16th through September 30th. Don't forget we have our special on at the moment if you'd like your own $35 He Said, She Said reading. You can email me at gypsyinsights@gmail.com. And I've also just put up my new October readings and those are the in-depth monthly readings that I do. That's just me. So if you're interested, you can check out my channel for those as well. So let's get along with your reading here, Taurus, from the House of Night Oracle. You've pulled the fledgling. So the fledgling speaks to the possibilities of new beginnings. There may be some stumbling, but eventually you'll um, grow into this new person that you're meant to be. And from Le Vampire, you've pulled the card of religion. Now this one speaks about canon, rules and commandments. It really is about safety and security when it comes to, to family. And following rules too, I think, yeah. to a large degree. Let's have a look and, uh, and see what comes out for you. So there's something that, that you're, you may be confused about it is what I'm getting possibly something new and 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 torn between that and and a uh, more following a tradition following rules I see this as very much like the Hierophant card in traditional tarot now I've already meditated on your energy here Taurus so I'm going to cut the cards and let's get the energy of the person that you are thinking about what they bring to the table when it comes to you, their flaw, how they feel about you, Taurus, how you feel about them, your strengths between you, the weaknesses between you, the potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock to that and the outcome. So let's have a look and see what the energy is of your partner or the person that you're thinking about. Okay, the fool. Mm. Right, so uh, maybe it's somebody who's thinking of, uh, well, we could look at Pono as being someone who wants to travel, somebody who wants to experience some new things. Yeah, th there's a feeling here of, of wanting to, to branch out, take that risk. It does speak, of course, about both these cards, the Fledgling and the Fool, speak about new beginnings. New beginnings, but but I also it doesn't necessarily mean any leaving anything behind. More so, I feel for you, Taurus, it, it's about your your partner getting a, a bit more spring in their step, uh, getting their vitality back, and being enthusiastic when it comes to a, a new beginning. So let's see what they bring to the table when it comes to you is the page of wands in reverse so there, there has been in the past I, I feel very much a, a lack of enthusiasm it's the opposite to the fool well lack of enthusiasm I think especially for matters of uh, matters of love yeah they, they may have lost their spark here perhaps feeling a bit down when it comes it, it could be health it, it could be any number of reasons why they haven't been feeling that vitality or that uh, that energetic youthful spark but uh, but I'm, I'm getting the energy now that that things may be may be changing so so let's have a look and see what their floor is the five of wands in reverse so with this one as a floor it speaks about this person finds it hard to to communicate yeah express themselves express what they want express their desires mm, without coming into conflict there you go yeah without battling yeah they may be quite immature perhaps in terms when they when they're trying to communicate yeah trying to communicate but I get I get that they they really just don't communicate yeah yeah and it, and it seems to, to cause a a friction but it's petty squabbling it's nothing major it's just kind of that silly bickering silly bickering yeah that's what I'm getting let's see how they're viewing you Taurus the eight of cups so they feel like you may want to uh, 
leave them behind. Uh, yeah, move, move on, on to on. something else. Yeah, we kind of got that idea with the, the fledgling card here and perhaps there was a choice to move on, uh, to move on to something new or to stay with uh, what was what was traditional, what was, uh, what was following the rules. Yeah, there, there's a sense here of you may have communicated this to them or they may just be picking this up but they, they're definitely aware that you, you may want to well, you're considering. Uh, you, I don't feel like you have moved on. But you're thinking about but it. But you're thinking about it. Let's see how you're viewing them, Taurus. King of Wands in reverse. So, so deep down, you, you feel that this person is, is lacking, lacking leadership, like, lacking... Creativity. Yeah. I think even ambition to a certain degree mm. as well. Or even the... Um, the capacity to 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 try something new. Uh, I think it does kind of go with that. Uh, is, that is that page? It's a page of ones there yeah. in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, it's interesting that the fool card there seems to to belie all this and to mm. you know, to give some sort of hope that that maybe there's the possibility that uh, things are turning around. Yeah, because I feel like you've viewed this person for quite a, a while now, Taurus, as someone who's lacking in passion. They've just kind of been going through the motions. There's been no willingness to take action with you to, to make things better, is what I'm getting. Let, let's see what the strengths are between you two. Okay, well look at this. We've got a complete turnaround here. We've got the, the Knight of Wands and he's in the upright as a strength. So I feel like you both you both want to make this work. Yeah, I think I get the get the sense that that uh, this person's coming in with a with a message, a message of uh, of wanting to turn things around. But there's been a recognition that there has been a lack of enthusiasm in yes. the past, and yeah. and that now things might be on the on the move, might be changing. So you may have threatened to leave or given them some kind of uh, kick in the rear end, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Let's see what the weakness is between you two. We've got the Four of Cups in reverse. So in the past, the, the emotions have been withdrawn. There, there has been a coldness here. There hasn't been that affection shown. And as a weakness, it, it's speaking about it needing to be... I think it's it's a it's needing to be more receptive yeah. to um, to offers. Yeah. And I, that's the thing. I think that uh, one of you, and I think it's probably you, Taurus, is not being receptive enough to offers. Uh, on one hand, you you've, um, you you're telling this person to shape up, and on the other hand, perhaps you're not giving them the opportunity to actually uh, you know, provide offers to you and. And, and to accept them as, uh, as they're given. Yeah, so um, like Richard was saying, it seems like you, 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 you were closed off to this person making an effort, at, you know, however small, however small that effort may have been. And I also get with this card needing to be appreciative. And, and this is from both sides, I feel, appreciative of what you both can bring to this relationship and it, and it seems to be about safety, security. Let's look at the potential. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, so that's you Taurus, it could be male or female. And you have the star in reverse, so it's you not feeling like you have enough. You'll, you feel that you're lacking something. With the star in reverse as, as the roadblock, it, it's really speaking about yeah, thinking pe things pessimistically. Yeah, lack of hope and, and not, um, not, not believing that, uh, that there, is any, there, there is any way out. That's, that's as a roadblock. That's, that is the roadblock to your, to your success, I think, is, yeah. is your pessimism or your lack of, lack of hope. Yeah. You may look, and, and, and uh, earth signs can do this sometimes, and, and it's a generalisation, but uh, uh, in your case I, I feel that the cards are speaking this way, 
in that you have a tendency, Taurus, to automatically think of the worst. And optimism is a, can be a difficult thing for an earth sign, especially when, when you've gone through some struggles. And that's the energy I pick up with these cards. It, it's, it's a need for you to look, look at the opportunities that are around you, appreciate the efforts that are being made, because I feel that they are being made here with that Knight of Wands, and get that spirit back of looking at things more positively, having more hope, seeing that light at the end of the tunnel here and instead of focusing on what you're lacking or what that you you feel you lack or p perceive you lack let's have a look at the outcome okay well we've got the three of cups so, so there will be a celebration coming together a sense of happiness i, I feel like between you the, this partner of yours, Taurus, and remember the energies can be vice versa, but I get it as the partner is willing to, to put in the effort here to make things better, to, to get things back, a sense of happiness, a sense of fun back in, in your life, that joy, socializing with friends as well, that they may be putting in more effort uh, towards socializing, towards uh, um, going out with, with friends, with, with, with family, and that may be something you've missed, Taurus. So, nice energy here for you. I feel it, it's mainly about recognizing the effort that, that the other person's putting in. And being more optimistic. And more I, optimistic. I, that's really, that, that, those are really the two things that you need to bring to the table here. Yeah. Uh, for your own, for the sake of your own happiness. Yeah. And I think after that, everything else will fall into place. Yeah. Because I feel like your partner here, Taurus, wants to make that effort to, to start things to, to, to put more fun back in, in, in your relationship is what I'm getting. And, uh, and it does speak about uh, recognizing the, the safety and security that this relationship brings. And I feel that that may be the reason why you, you haven't actually walked away from this in the past here, Taurus. So we'll, go, we'll leave the reading here for you and, and wish you all the very best. Don't forget, if you would like your own He Said, She Said reading, we have that $35 special on at the moment. It's for a 20-minute reading with both Richard and I. And uh, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you're interested. Also, if you would like a, a, an in-depth reading, I have my October readings up on my channel. And those are, are just me. So if you prefer the uh, solo reader, um, check those out. And those are my channel, Gypsy Insights by Michelle. So we wish you all the best, Taurus. Thank you, Taurus. Good luck. Goodbye.